What was it like shooting this movie in Toronto? It was so much fun. I had such a great time. Everybody is so nice here. It was really cool. The crew was awesome. And uh, when you when you see it all put together on the big screen, etc., how does the fruits of your labor actually feel? The results? I'm always like really a hard critic uh, about my work, but. I also executive produced this movie, so I definitely felt like it was a big challenge just because I was like the lead in the movie and then the executive producer and I had to be, like, make decisions and then also just like, I'm so into it. Um, but uh, I was really proud after, you know, watching it. I was like, you know, it was like, usually it takes me a couple times to really be proud of something, but I, I definitely, the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, it actually came together. Uh, you're a rare triple threat. You can sing, you can dance, and you can act. What do you enjoy doing the most? I mean, I love everything. I love everything I do, uh, but I do love acting. I've been doing it the longest, and um, it's something that I'm very passionate about because I like to play different characters, but I do love to perform. It's like any time I'm in front of an audience, it just always gets me excited. And speaking of which, your fans, uh, you've got a new cycle of fans, fans that have grown up with you over the last decade, and a new group of fans that are being introduced to these characters, etc. What is the uh, most daunting part about this form of celebrity? I think it's just, you know, obviously the everyday kind of like, you know, dealing with the paparazzi and stuff is kind of a little crazy. Uh, you know, it's been really great just because I've been filming out in Vancouver and also in Toronto over the last year. I've been doing my series, The Hellcats, on CW. And uh, they haven't been as bad. I mean, they still get me at the gym, but it, they're not outside my house watching me, like, go to Coffee Bean and just being known for that. It's like, you know, but, uh, but no, it's really great. I mean, I love growing with my fans. And I feel like just doing Hellcats is like a natural progression from the High School Musical series to this. Now, will there be other in this series for Sharpay? Are you hoping to executive produce and, and or maybe start a new generation of... Uh... I think this is the end. This was really the reason why I wanted to do it was because I felt like High School Musical 3, the ending was that I kind of like stayed with Miss Darbus and um, helped her do the, you know, teach in the theater department. And I just felt like, oh my gosh, Sharpay belongs on Broadway. Like that could not be the ending to this amazing character. So when Disney had this idea, Idea, they gave me the script and I fell in love with it and I was just like this character gave me so much like the fans just I'm, I'm here today because of them so I just felt like this was a great ending to a character that they all loved and finally you had the chance to see some of the Toronto cats that you worked with during the film what was it like with the Canadian talent and what do you think of the people that are up here they're amazing they're awesome I mean it was just so much fun uh, I actually knew a lot of the Canadian cast because um, a couple of the characters and actors I've worked with um, in the past on Picture This was Lauren Collins and she's from Degrassi so okay. she was in this movie as well so uh, it was really cool I was like I hadn't seen her in so long it was awesome to see her again cool uh, thank you very much thank you I'm